everyone checking in on gold so this was the hourly pattern that i was watching play out for over a week where it was a nice equilibrium pattern with our high low lower high higher low lower high higher low bull break it's also an example of why I like to use trend lines in terms of visualization, but I don't make my my trades based off of trend lines. For me, price action is king. And if you use this trend line, you got a bull signal for an entry at 1261.50. If you use the higher low lower high pattern, your bull signal would have been when this lower high broke. And that was at 1259.56. And that is a whole $2 sooner. And you can see that's when the bull showed up here as well. This big green candlestick, the bull volume kicked into gear. And that's when the signal was. So the trend line a bit too wide in terms of giving that ideal signal so nice victory for the bulls in the short term we look at the daily time frame and we can see that we had that pattern of choppy action higher lows lower highs getting real tight before the clear bull break resistance from here is the high of the last bounce attempt which was a bear flag before continuing to the downside that level was 127104 and then after that we're looking up at 127838 so the bulls are recovering a bit here and trying to see continued follow through and it's a good sign for these bulls because the market's at all-time highs and the market and gold going in the same direction certainly favors those miners so looking at the weekly time frame it's a higher low, higher high pattern on this bounce, still playing out. Bullish reversal doji confirmed and then follow through. Because of the magnitude of this pullback, magnitude of the breakout and then magnitude of the pullback, I don't think we're going to go right from this low to new higher highs. I think we're going to have to set a lower high and then pull back and see an equilibrium pattern. We just saw it on the hourly. I think we're going to have to see it on the weekly here. So set a lower high compared to 1295.45, pull back, set a higher low compared to 12 14 13 and watch the tightening range for a clear break but not anticipating which direction that is going to break until we see where we stand after that consolidation does play out a bit longer so it is possible the bulls just head right on up and continue but i'm going to be watching for that equilibrium pattern to play out so the bulls have momentum heading into next week the bull miners here we saw the gap up open but didn't really see a huge strong day and i would have anticipated stronger movement on the bull side of things because the market and gold were going in the same direction so here we have our low established our lower high is at 2339 a little double top the bulls have to break that level and it does look like a nice consolidation on the weekly time frame where we had the bull move the bulls bought the dip on this consolidation and now the bulls need to see continuation and head back to the upside to try and keep those bulls in control on this shorter term time frame shorter term time frame meaning the next few weeks in the previous few weeks that we've been watching so looking at where the junior miners are they're seeing a similar action but it was profit taking we filled the gap and we closed at the low of the day and you look at gdx we didn't fill the gap we didn't close at the low of the day so again it's been about two months now we've been pointing this out maybe six weeks but if you're going to be playing bullish you want to be going with nugt and if you're going to be playing bearish you want to be going with jdst and that's just a small it's not the same every single day but it's a small correlation between the two that puts the odds in your favor just slightly more even if it's 0.3 percent, it all adds up in the end so might as well go with the one that is in your favor so where we stand heading into next week we're going to be watching gold and whether it can continue or not i personally don't think it will be able to on the daily time frame without consolidation before excuse me on the on the weekly time frame is what i'm going based off of but it's without consolidation before heading up to that 1295 level so we're going to look for a lower high to form we're going to look to consolidate and form a higher low and then we'll watch the break from there and that is the most common pattern that you see after a lot of volatility you see an equilibrium pattern so i appreciate you watching we'll continue to monitor everything the bull miners really have had the odds against them over the past couple of months and really you just look at the weekly time frame here and it's been since mid-february that it's been a lower high and lower low trend on the weekly time frame and we just set another lower high have to set this higher low here there is a lower wick on this candlestick so the bulls do have that in their favor but they need to see that higher low and then break the recent high to try and change this trend that we are currently in and we can see GDXJ holding this 100 week moving average support. That needs to maintain. That's down at 3051. And GDX support is the 200 week moving average. And we're not near that level right now. So the Bulls have a lot of cushion. 2151 is that level. So I hope you have a great weekend. And we will check back in throughout the week. See you then.